Happy New Year! Happy 2023! So it's January 1st. Uh, Mark here, my wife Tara and daughter Tiana. And uh, it is actually a beautiful day. Minus six. It's supposed to be in the single digits uh, for the next two weeks, I think. Uh, so uh, 2023 is coming in. What is that? Coming in like a lamb, lamb. they say? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take that. Uh, so what happened this last week? Uh, well, we had uh, the ponies that are up front uh, actually broke out. So it happened Friday night. Uh, we went to bed. Tara woke up in the morning uh, to see Daisy uh, just over here standing in the middle of the driveway. Uh, it was about 8.30 in the morning, I think it was. So she yells into the bedroom, oh, the horse horse emergency and I'm like okay so jump out of bed come out um, she had um, went Daisy started walking back down the driveway and Tara came out and, and ran down and brought her back uh, and then when I came out uh, our neighbor a few doors down uh, I guess they were over in his yard running around we have a service road which is great we have a highway up front uh, but it looks like they just kind of hung out on the service road which is good. Um, I'm not sure why they came out. We do have an idea, but um, it was Levi and Daisy that came out first. Uh, Daisy actually went back into the front section uh, and Meadow was going back and forth between the, uh, between the lines or uh, on the other side of the, uh, the line, the electric fence. And then finally she found out where they, uh, where they came through the fence. And where they came through the fence was right here. So uh, the the top line here isn't electrified. It's uh, I never really connected that back up again. The bottom ones are. It's not really too much of an issue. There is a spot in here where they can stick their heads. Uh, but over the years that we've done this, we've never had any horses actually escape from the front. Uh, so it was strange that uh, that they did. So here's a clip, a little montage of all the cameras. We have uh, uh, real link wireless cameras, so I've got them in multiple locations uh, throughout the farm to try to catch uh, whatever I can catch. Uh, so I, uh, I pulled some footage off there and put together this montage of uh, the ponies. Hi kids. Hi Meadow. Were you out running around Friday night? Yes. 
she was the last one to get out. It was around 3.30 in the morning, I think it was. And Levi uh, and Daisy got out, it looked like around 12.48, uh, just before 1, 1 a.m. So uh, Friday was pretty eventful. Uh, we got the ponies back in. They did their little run around and had their fun. Uh, and then it was probably around, I want to say about noon or one o'clock, Tara looked out from the house and she noticed Daisy uh, was up front kind of with her head down and she just, she was wondering what was happening there. So she went out um, and checked with her and she just seemed off. Uh, so what she did is she brought her up front and brought her into this area here. Uh, to, uh, to, you know, just shelter in, check her out. Uh, and um, there, was, there was something wrong. So uh, she came back in the house and then she called the vet uh, and had the vet came out. That same day was, um, we had our, our farrier that was scheduled to come out and do these guys hooves. Uh, now our farrier is a, uh, or a former vet tech. So she popped in uh, and she had a look and she said, yeah, I, I'd call the vet. Uh, so we do a lot of things here on the farm naturally, but there are some instances where, of course, we need to call the vet and, and uh, get something taken care of. Uh, so we had the vet come out and she checked with her, did, uh, some, uh, did a tube feed because she looked a little skinny, uh, gave her some electrolytes, uh, and then uh, said, well, we should probably take a, a, a blood sample just to see what's happening. Came on so quickly. Uh, she peeled back the eyelid and noticed that the whites were actually yellow. Uh, and what that means is, or what it mostly means, is uh, a liver issue. Uh, liver toxins, the, the, the liver isn't processing the toxins properly. And what happens is uh, the toxicity level in the body increases and you first see it in the, uh, in the whites of the eyes. So something to watch for in the future uh, to... Um, to rule out any kind of issues when trying to figure out what's wrong with an animal. So we ended up taking Daisy from the front here and taking her into the barn, uh, putting her into a warmer environment. In the barn, it's, um, it's a few degrees above freezing, so it's a little bit warmer in there. Uh, we figured we'd put her into a stall and then wait the test results. So the test results did come in later on that day. A normal toxicity level for uh, a horse or a pony is 330. I'm not sure what number that reflects, uh, but 330 parts per million, maybe uh, toxins. Uh, Daisy came back at 2,000 parts per million or 2,000 units, whatever that may be. So she said, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, the liver is the liver and there's really not much you can do when the liver starts to fail. Uh, so she said, you know, we'll monitor overnight, um, but you know, you may have to put Daisy down. So we watched her and we went to bed that night and she ended up passing um, uh, just, just after 11 p.m. on Friday night. So it happened quickly, which is always something that we want to see. Daisy's been here uh, for three, just over three years uh, and she came in. Um, she didn't, she, at that time, the previous owners were thinking about putting her down. Um, but um, we brought her feet back to uh, where, where they should be, and she got another three years out of it. So uh, now Levi, uh, was, he was wondering where she was. He's been calling out. Hey? Yes. So, and when um, Tara was in with Daisy and then she came out to give them hay, he was actually all over Tara's hands, just sniffing and uh, making all kinds of noises. So they did form a, a, a great bond. Uh, they were the own little herd. These two hang out all the time together, but Daisy's usually right in there when she can. She hasn't had a lot of energy over the years, um, but um, she is, um, you know, she would hang out with them. 
So Daisy will, of course, be missed here on the farm, not only by the other animals, but of course, by us as well. It's always hard, you know, when you have this kind of a situation where you have animals that come in, uh, sometimes they're rescued animals. Sometimes, you know, they've, they don't have that, that much longer to live. Sometimes they do. Um, but when you have animals around uh, and you, you, you have to expect to, at some point, you're going to lose some. Uh, but the important thing is, is that they go peacefully. Uh, Daisy went, it was less than 12 hours. So uh, the vet actually gave her some medication, some pain medication. So that was nice. And, and that just kind of helped out uh, with, um, you know, with easing any pain that maybe she had. Uh, so she will be missed. So anyway, here is a short little tribute video uh, of some key moments that I put together. Uh, from her coming in and um, from uh, the bond that these ponies uh, had uh, built together. So Daisy will definitely be missed here on the farm like all of our animals that we do lose. Uh, but one thing that our farrier, us, and the vet all kind of agreed upon that maybe it happened is why did that happen that night? Did these guys know something and Levi broke Daisy out for kind of a last hurrah? So it's kind of a nice thought. Um, you know, maybe the animals, you know, they know they have uh, an extremely um, good sense of smell and they can smell all kinds of different things, um, especially horses and of course dogs as well. So maybe they did know something about it and Levi decided, hey, I'm just going to break you out of here and we're going to we're going to have a last night out in the town. So it's kind of a nice thought to uh, think of. <laughs> Oops, you know, packages are all fed. And Cora's probably been fed. Yeah. Hi, Cora. Hi. How are you? She really loves it when you get underneath her chin here. Oh. Oh, Cora, you like that. <laughs> Anywhere they can't reach. So the bottom of the head, like the chin or the neck. You know, it's just a place that they can't reach. A lot of animals like it right in the neck, especially the goats, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. Get kisses. Oh, those tongues are so long, aren't they? Yes. You know, I was wondering how long, how long they actually are because there's a tongue. There's a tongue. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. Yeah. 
Yeah, she is growing though. She's getting bigger. So there's a, a shot across the across the top of the gate. <laughs> she puts her tongue right in her nose. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Like it's so funny. <laughs> oh, silly girl. What's this? What's this? Yeah, so she's on one one feeding, right? One uh yeah, she's in that stage where it's We're starting to wean her. Unless I feel like I need to give her two, then I give her two. But she's on that weaning stage. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. in seven weeks, she can start She can start to go down to one bottle. So, But that's also the window of, are they drinking? Are they eating enough on their own? You know, like, so you want to make them a little hungry, but not too hungry. Mm -hmm. So I just play it by ear on this. <laughs> Hi, I know that tongue is huge. And what is Sheldon doing back here? I see him running around. What are you doing? Are you running amok? <laughs> Sheldon. <laughs> You're just waiting for spring, aren't you? We all are. Hey? Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, how are all the kids doing? They're itching to... It's like, why are we inside? We want to be out in the sun. Well, well, unfortunately, there's no sun out there. We gotta wait a couple more months, guys. Hang in there. The the pigs are digging a new trench in the barn. Are they? Oh yeah, we had to move. Oh, they were right back in the same. Oh no, they're, were they're they? sleeping in the same spot, but they're they're. Yeah, to get Daisy in, we brought her in this way, and we had to move the pig bed. And these pigs, they're. Sp supposed to be the pigs are supposed to be sleeping in here this is always been their area but this past summer they've moved and they have moved into kind of this area here and then finally their final resting place here uh, where they've made their nest is over here right at the door so when we brought Daisy in of course I had to clean this area out and I moved all of this stuff over here, and I thought, oh, okay, they'll be able to make their nest over here nice and fluffy. Uh, but they didn't. They brought everything back. You can see this was completely clear right down. They brought everything back in here, and they're insistent on making this their, their spot. So, yeah, it's like, okay, well, away you go. Have it. What are you guys getting at? Oh, some grains. Yes, for the geese. These geese aren't in with the other geese and ducks because, of course, they're wild, so we can't really officially, legally lock them up. Uh, they can get out if they want to. They can kind of jump over the uh, fence. But they actually wandered in here. They've been hanging out the pond, and they wandered in. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're not planning on leaving. So winter's already here. Maybe next year they'll head off. Gwen and Glenn, we've named them. Uh, and then, um, yeah, our alpaca. I've got their jackets on. You guys probably don't need your jacket on uh, these days. It's actually not oh, that, please. not that warm, not that cold. Oh, I should take the oh. What? Yeah. Well, we were thinking about taking off the jackets because it is, oh. uh, it is a little warmer. What's that? Well, the geese obviously... Oh, dirty to that. We're going to have yeah. to... Yeah. The geese get in there and play. They get down here, and then they get in there, and they do they do goose things. <laughs> Don't you? The menace. Petey, what are you getting into? Oh, okay, I see. This is... Uh, who is that? That's George, it looks like. George is telling them what. There's some grains that are down here that Tara puts out for the geese. And, of course, the animals kind of pick oh, away at turtle. it. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice do. Nice do. This is why I have to clean your wool so much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's not for you to sell. Uh, he gets into all kinds of stuff. Don't you, Turbo? What's Mommy doing? It's like, oh, she's got the, she's got the grain scoop. Yeah. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll pull the, we can pull the plug. No, it's frozen. I tried the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, there we go. Nice and clean. Oh, you're going to go in for a drink? Oh, look at that. There we go. Demonstrate. Oh, you're going to get hay in it. Jasper. <laughs> you know, finish eating before you drink. This is part of the problem. <laughs> He's silly. Oh, boy. 
Uh, so this water here uh, is the Little Springs, uh, it's, uh, sold by Gallagher. Uh, it's, it works great, there's a heater in here. In the summer months, uh, actually this one we don't, um, we don't use at all because they've got the pond. Uh, but in the front, the ponies have theirs, so we, uh, we hook it up and it, um, it runs automatically, so it's nice. Uh, but we find in the wintertime, it's best just to uh, pour the water in. And there's a heater in here that keeps everything uh, uh, defrosted and not frozen. We've got to wait for Jasper to finish drinking because he walks over with hay in his mouth. <laughs> a big mound of hay. And then he starts drinking, and now he's... No, is hay in there? Yeah. <laughs> See, and he's still got this thing hanging from his mouth. It's like... No, he's still got it. <laughs> then you're supposed to eat this. Oh, you're one. You've got the other uh, side still. Finish yeah. eating before you drink. You think it's the ducks? Or the... No. The oh, I don't think it's the alpaca. <laughs> so if you are interested in uh, in these units, uh, you can uh, check the link down in the description. Also put the uh, link to the real link cameras that I used for my montage of the horse breakout. I'll put that uh, link down in the description as well if you're interested in that. Well, kids, it's a new year. And from here on out, the days are going to get longer. Hi, Holly. How are you doing? Hi. All right, morning feeding is done. Usually it only takes uh, uh, half an hour. It's actually not too, too bad. We've got, uh, well, Tara, I should say, I should say Tara, not we. Tara's got the system all kind of figured out. And routine. Uh, routine. So it's actually not that bad. So we do two feedings, one in the morning uh, and then one in the uh, evening. And then the rest so. is just play and interacting. Yeah, yeah and interacting. Fun stuff. Lots of, uh, of course, uh, work to be done in the spring with clearing out the buildings. Uh, so there's a lot of maintenance there. But during the winter, it's uh, it's not too bad. It's too I, cold out to really stay out for Some days for I'll hang out longer. there and sweep and do yeah. cobwebs. And because it's above zero out there. It's above freezing. So it's actually not too, too bad. So... So that is uh, it for this video. So uh, first video of the year. Happy New Year again. Uh, I hope uh, all of you have a, uh, uh, a good year. This 2023, things are only going to get better, right? That's, that's what the motto is now. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, have a, uh, a wonderful day, year, week, month. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.